Previously on Chemical Guys Newbie, Henry showed me how to use the Torque Professional Max Foam 8 Foam Cannon and gave out pro tips and tricks on how to achieve the thickest of suds. In today's episode, we reveal the post wash shine and I take on the Mammoth Minute Drying Challenge. Let's get to it. He doesn't know much about detailing. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's asking lots of questions about everything so we can learn all there is about detailing. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's a chemical guy's new. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's a chemical guy's new year. Oh my God, that was some epic foaming. That foam slaps, bro. <laughs> that foam slaps. Chemical guys, ASMR. A lot of that ash and dirt didn't even come off. It was just like embedded on there, which means that if you try to just move it, you'd probably scratch the, the hell out of your car, so, right? You guys noticed we rinsed down the vehicle and these little particles, they're not even coming off yet, but we're allowing Glossworks to dwell on the surface of the vehicle just to encapsulate the dirt. And whenever I get my wash mitt, or Jason gets his wash mitt, and we come and glide it, it has some type of lubrication to glide it off the surface without scratching it. This thing is completely foamed up. It looks awesome. And now we basically wash as usual, right? Grab our Chanel Grab microfiber our Chanel wash mitt. You wash want the three-way or you want the Chanel? You know what? I, I've always wanted to try a three-way, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna grab that one. <laughs> I'll watch you, we'll both grab the, uh, I'm gonna grab the suds out of the bucket that we activated, all right? Yeah. And does it matter which side of this I use or? It doesn't matter, oh, you cool. choose, you have a three way. So I'm gonna grab some soap here. Nice, nice, nice. And you get that side, I get my side. All right, and as I recall, you start from the top and work your, way, work down. your way down. Nice linear motions, right? Linear motions. Linear motions. Oh, look at all that buttery foam just coming right off. Look at this. Look at this. I just glide my wash mitt and all the dirt and grime just comes right oh, off. Oh, yeah. And look where it got encapsulated. Right inside. In the noodles. The noodles. So after this, so this car is super dirty, yeah. I'll go back to my rinse bucket. You're going to do one stroke. One stroke. And you see you, it, look. It's floating right yep, there. Yep, yep. And so you're rubbing this on the, the dirt, dirt trap. trap inside. And if I bring it back out, it's gone. It's clean. Perfect. Then I bring it outside my bucket. Same thing. Oh, oh, I got some on mine too. I'm gonna Jason. dump this in here. We're gonna rub it on the dirt trap. Nice, nice and clean. Outside the bucket, we're gonna rinse. I got you, Jason. <laughs> Come back to your soapy bucket. Get some soap and do the same thing around the same whole entire thing. Vehicle. Rub it on the dirt trap in here just in case. Grab some of those suds and we're gonna work down on the car again. Top to bottom. Look at this, Jason. These particles, they're hard. Oh yeah. So if I squeeze it, it doesn't even break. Now so that would cause some that damage for sure. Oh yeah. All right, we'll finish up the rest of this and be back after a little time lapse. Which bucket was the wash bucket and which was the rinse bucket? I don't know that you'd be able to tell right now. It looks like this one's actually the wash bucket and this is the rinse bucket. And that's the rinse, but it's not. And we know that because I had the red one as the wash. Correct. So that's why it's pretty good to color code these because you might get confused halfway through. But look, if you look, if you dig deeper and you move the foam around, let me put it on my hand. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yep. All of that can potentially scratch the surface of the vehicle. And we want to avoid all that because any particle that gets in your wash mitt can scratch your vehicle. Whether Not it's a rock good. or there's contamination. So now we're gonna rinse this bad boy off, right? Yeah. And just uh, Jason, get to the drying process, I right? I want to challenge you. Do you think we dry this car in less than a minute? I think we can do it. This you, is a pretty small car and 
All right, all right, all right. Now is it is it wait, one wait, person wait, wait. going or Be, both of us? Before before you start, before I start. Okay. How many towels do you think it takes to dry this car? I would if I didn't know better, which I don't, I would say like three or four. Willie Mammoth will dry up this whole car. One towel. One towel. Alright, I mean challenge accepted. Alright, you're gonna do it. I'll we'll put the little timer on the side. If you fail, we're gonna re-wet it and I'll show you how to do it. Alright. Henry. Yes. I found this towel. You want to tell me about it? All right, let's start off with this towel is, what's the name of it, just so you hop on our website and pick it up today or stop at our local detail garage. So this is the Woolly Mammoth. The Woolly Mammoth is super soft, super plush, super big, and it also has this new chemical, guys, banding around it. Nice. It's silk, so it will not scratch. Ah. And the reason why we put silk around our banding is because if you pull it, it's not going to tear. Hmm. So you put it through a washer, use microfiber wash, it's not going to tear in your wash. So if I pull it, no, no matter how hard I pull it, it's not going to tear. How to dry? There's yeah. different techniques, all right? So what are the techniques? Before anything, I'm going to give you the little cheat code. Use a drying aid like Afterwash. Okay. So if you have tap water, well water, and you constantly get water spots, you can minimize them using Afterwash. So you see beading on the surface of the vehicle, correct? Yeah. So if I just spray it, it just starts rolling off. It causes less tension. We actually used this in episode two. You did? Yeah, because- oh, so you already know the cheat code. Well, because, I'll tell you why. Why? Mother Nature came into play and it was not such a nice day that day and it rained right after we washed. <laughs> so just to make sure we didn't have any debris on our car, we used after wash to lubricate it some more and let the bees drop mm -hmm. off. That's, that's cool. It's so a you good, already know about the cheat code. So it's a little not, cheat code, it's pro no tip. longer a cheat code anymore. Oh man. So the proper technique to use when drying a vehicle, it is not like this, it is not like this, it is not like this, it's like this. Even all the way open. All the way open, so when you come to the surface of the vehicle, you can either pat it down like I'm doing right now and just pull off and it's dry. Oh, wow. Or you could do the other method where you throw it on the surface of the vehicle. Let me just give it a couple squirts of afterwash, reduce tension, make drying a lot easier. And as you notice, I am not just focused on one area. I am just lightly missing it around the whole entire vehicle so it gets an even spread. Or you could also do this technique where you just throw it on the surface of the vehicle. I'm pretty sure you guys seen this video on our Instagram. You throw it on the surface of the vehicle, you can pat it down. I'm not patting it down this time and just pull it. And look at that. Boom, look at how dry that is. It's drier than Jason's DMs. <laughs> so I could just do the same exact thing, throw it there and just dry it wow. like so. In and, and out. I could see this this probably can do this whole car in one shot. So this towel holds up to one gallon of water. So let me just show you guys on glass. Obviously there's glass, spray my afterwash. Might as well just get all this. Super easy to get in, get out with this towel. I'll throw it. And look, it's not even perfect. Come back with the other side and just pass the towel and I'm good to go. Wow. It's dry. Nice. And after it gets damp like this, we don't recommend going and wringing it out. No, the towel holds up so much water. It's amazing. So if it gets a little bit more wet right here, flip over to a, a drier side come back and just dry sweet so Jason I'm going to re-wet this car all right here comes the one minute challenge I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna see if I could dry this FRS with one woolly mammoth in one under minute. one minute cheat codes activated up up down down left right left right BA start let's do it here you go this oh, for you bam there we go all right I got my after wash cheat codes I got my woolly mammoth towel with the branded silk banding it's open ready to go because i know not to fold it my technique here is going to be straightforward i think i'm going to spray down the whole car first to make sure that it's ready to go real quick get it out of the way and then start using the towel we'll see if i can do this in one minute three 
two, one. Did I get it? <laughs> do you think do you think he got it? Oh no, I got this whole side left. <laughs> ah! Excuse. So I feel like <laughs> I did not do it. Should I do it in one minute? But I feel like someone out there can. Like if you're not a noob like me, you could probably get this done in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna get the windshield because he forgot i forgot the windshield because look look check this out guys he got this glass <laughs> got that glass got that glass got that glass but forgot the windshield well regardless if you can't dry this in one minute you absolutely could dry this in two minutes Easy. two minutes one minute. two minutes one what minute. you gonna do in two minutes i can dry a car in two minutes I can drive real far in two minutes, two minutes, a two minutes. What you gonna do in two minutes? Getting in those details. Look at this, the Scion logo. Gotta get inside there. Be gentle. It is gentle. This thing's super soft and it's got that super soft silk banding as well. Did your technique work? <laughs> <sighs> I don't feel like my technique worked. It worked on the larger parts of the body, like the, the hood and the, <laughs> the roof, but uh, it did not work on the intricate details. So I think the lesson here is don't rush. You could do this in a minute, probably, if you're good. If you're like me, you could do it in two minutes. 10 minutes. Definitely in 10 minutes, but you should take 10 minutes, really, because you wanna be super detailed and careful with the vehicle, take your time, make sure you get every inch of this thing dry so you have no water spots left. And uh, yeah, I think it's doable though. It's definitely doable in five minutes. If not five minutes, at least seven minutes. And if not seven, you can totally do it in an hour. 30 minutes. It should not take you an hour to dry this car. The shine is back, the reflection's back. It got rejuvenated, its coatings are now rejuvenated and it's ready to go. Glossworks is a peach band soap. So guys, like this video because Jason tried the one minute challenge drying his vehicle. Do you think you could compare it to Jason? If so, make sure to tag us at Chemical Guys on Instagram yeah. or Facebook and show us your results within one minute. There you guys have it. You guys saw Jason take on a foam cannon and the one minute drying challenge. Are you capable of doing the one minute drying challenge? Make sure to post your results on Instagram Facebook, or Twitter. Any of these accessories you saw today on this video, you can find them on our website, chemicalguys.com. Just search it up in the search bar or in its very own category. Or if you can't wait to get your hands on Chemical Guys, stop by our local detail garage today, pick them up there, and we'll see you guys next time. If you have any suggestions for future videos or anything I should tackle, leave it down in the comments below or what the next montage should be. Give us some creative ideas. I like playing around with the montage. You know why I have this big check? Maybe one day I'll graduate to the big boy chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.